Hey guys, this is Rara Coco. Quick update with regards to ticker symbol BBIG. So how do the short sellers cover? So here it is. Uh, on June 30, BBIG opens at $1.56. So they lost, uh, oh, this one is a game. So they made, uh, short sellers made 23.77 million, okay? We open at $1.56, right? And then we close at $1.38. So this one right here, the short sellers uh, made some money. It's because the price of BBIG went down from $1.56 to $1.38. This is on June 30, okay? This is on June 30. Be aware of uh, this situation. Again, if the price of BBIG goes down, uh, from the previous close, short sellers making money because what they do is they borrow shares, okay, shorts uh, BBIG. So let's say uh, they're going to pay 100 shares at $1.56, okay? At the end of the day, they return it at $1.38. Whatever the difference is, that's what uh, the short sellers made money on. Okay, so they do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Look at July 1st. Okay, July 1st, they gain again. They made money. Uh, they made about $4.47 million. Okay, they, we open at $1.35, and look at this. We close at $1.27, okay? This is on July 1st. This is another win for the short seller. So they made $4.47 million. Again, if the price of BBIG goes down, short sellers makes money. If the price of BBIG goes up, short sellers loses money. Okay, so now we are on July 5. Okay, July 5, right? The short sellers made 4.51 million. Why? Because we opened at $1.25 and look at that, we close at $1.16. So, Short sellers made 4.51 million on July 5, 2022. Okay, this, how, this is how they do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, let's take a look at July 6. Okay, July 6, this is another win for the short sellers. Why? Because on July 6, we open at $1.15. And then we close at $1.06, so that's $1.15. And then here you go, we close at $1.06. There's a loss there in July 6. Therefore, short sellers made some money again at $4.31. So this is how they manipulate the stocks, okay? Here's another one, okay? We open at $1.15. Well, actually, this one is a loss. This is why, because, all right, this is this is a short sellers lost 2.86 million and i'm going to explain you why right yeah we opened at 115 but we're gonna look at july 6 okay the price of july 6 so we close at a dollar 13 right a dollar 13. so that means there is a gain on this one uh on the i mean on the retail, right? The price actually went up because we're going to go back on July 6th and we're going to take a look at July 6th. What was the price on July 6th? What was the price that we closed? July 6th, we closed at $1.06. There you go. That's why we closed July 6th at $1.06. And then on July 7th, we closed at a higher price of our dollar in 13 cents and there you go uh retail win on this one short sellers lost money on on this one it's because the price of bbig went up from one dollar and six cents to one dollar and 13 cents right there one dollar and 13 cents see that right so they lost 2.86 million right 2.86 million now on july 7 this is we close at one dollar and 13 let's take a look at the next day Okay, if we close at $1.13, let's take a look at the next day. What happens? Okay, so we went up. The price closes at $1.15. So short sellers lost again, lost 788.67K. This is how they do this. They 
they uh, cover short close covering on a day-to-day -day basis and this is how they manipulate the stock so at this time they lost it's because bbig there's a buying uh, and we went up one dollar and 15 cents from one dollar and 13 showing the loss of them you see that one dollar and 13 on july 7 right there july 13 i mean july 7 lost one dollar and 13 Oh, I mean, the price of BBIG was $1.13. And then the next day, the next day from July 7, July 8, 8, 115. There you go. So that's what happened. Now, this one I'm going to explain to you, all right? The previous day, we closed at 113, right? And then now we close on July 11, we close at $1.06. So BBIG went down price-wise. And therefore, the short sellers made some money, $3.43 million. Okay, day one. Again, if the price of BBIG goes up, retail wins. If the price of BBIG goes down, goes down, short sellers wins. Okay, at this time it's a dollar fifteen. Before on July eight, that was a Friday. The next Monday, it was it closed at one dollar and six. We lost, so they made three point forty three million. Made three point forty three million, and then on this one, this is a July twelve. Okay. 106. So July 11, July 6, we close at the same price at 106. Take a look at that. There is no loss. We did not lose. We did not lose. Uh, the short sellers did not lose uh, any money and uh, did not gain either. Okay, guys. Now, short selling is on a day to day basis. Let's say the price of BBIG, they're going to buy it at $1.50 and then it closes at $1.10. That's how they do it. They're going to return it during the, they borrow, they borrow, they buy it at 150 and then send it back to the broker, sells it back, uh, the, the, the shares and whatever the difference is. So let's say $1.50 and then we close at $1.20. Okay. That 30 cents, short sellers wins that, gains that, makes a lot of money. Okay, guys, this is a quick update with regards to BBIG. This is how you kind of like know when is uh, the short sellers are covering uh, and, and then uh, shorting uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. This is how it works, okay? Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification button. My name is Rara Coco. May you have love, peace, prosperity, and good health be with you all.